All right, last reaction that we're going to talk about when it comes to chapter six, ketoenol tautomerism. So the reason why we're calling it ketoenol tautomerism is because we have a keto form. Usually the keto form is the one that's going to be favored uh, of these two forms. So the keto form is called the keto form because there is a ketone group right here. And then you have an enol form. The enol form is because there's an alkene and there's an alcohol. En plus all gives you enol. So this hydrogen, this hydrogen that's attached to this carbon right here is weakly acidic. Right? And it's weakly acidic, so this oxygen can pluck the H, and then you can push these electrons down to give you a double bond. This is not resonance because we did move atoms. These are tautomers of each other. Okay, You can also do this with nitrogen, Okay, except when you have nitrogen, especially like a di-substituted imine group like this, the H has an even lower pKa. So what happens is the H pulls, gets pulled off by the base, and then you're going to push these electrons here, and then push these electrons up there to the nitrogen. And the resulting form, the resulting uh, structure that you're going to have is called an enamine. This is the alkene plus an amine, enamine. Uh, this one is actually going to be the favored form between the two of the between the two nitrogen compounds. Okay. Now, big picture. What does this all mean? We have tautomers. What's the importance? Uh, the big picture is tautomers. Uh, the keto form is can be a good way to generate a Michael acceptor. So what a Michael acceptor is, is there is an alpha beta unsaturated or alpha beta double bond next to the ketone. And um, what happens is if you have this H, which is weakly acidic, the H can go here, push these electrons there, and then we can have this leaving group leave and we generate a Michael acceptor. What's the significance of a Michael acceptor? Uh, these are susceptible to nucleophilic attack. Okay, and right here is where they're susceptible to nucleophilic attack. Sometimes you could have something like glutathione come in there, sometimes you could have DNA come in there, or sometimes you could just have some sort of other nucleophile come in there. All right, so ketoenol tautomerism, uh, we're moving atoms and electrons, and the big picture is the keto form, which is usually favored, can be used to generate Michael acceptors, and the Michael acceptors are susceptible to nucleophilic attack. Okay. Although you could favor the enol form if the resulting structure has something that's particularly stable about it. A um, couple things to look for would be intramolecular hydrogen bonding or aromaticity that gets generated. All right, so there we have it, um, ketoenol tautomerism.